Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and in this video, we're looking at two techniques to improve the sound in your videos. We're gonna normalize and compress the audio. Now, generally, when you're recording audio, either directly to the camera or to a recording device, you're gonna to wanna to leave a decent amount of headroom in your recording levels to accommodate any sudden increases in volume from your audio source. In post, those levels tend to be a little low. And so what can happen is that even when you max out the clip volume, you still aren't getting enough level out of it. Now, of course, you can get more gain from the audio track mixer, but I usually try to keep those levels at zero. Instead, if my audio levels are low, the first step I usually take is to normalize the audio. Normalizing makes all the audio louder by measuring the loudest peak or peaks and using those to set the maximum level. Now there are a couple of different ways of doing this, but one way is to normalize the clips in the timeline. Now looking at this audio, I can see that this clip has a pretty serious peak right at the top, which is the slate. Now since that peak is so much louder than the other material, once I've got my audio and video synced, I'll just get rid of it, otherwise I might not be able to get all the gain I need out of the lower stuff. Now for voiceover work like this audio track, I'm not that concerned about preserving the relative gain differences in the original recording. In fact, I'd like to smooth out some of those differences, so I'm gonna normalize all the peaks to minus three dB. This will make the audio louder and still leave me three dB of headroom to work with. Okay, so we've normalized our audio so it's at a comfortable level for us to work with. Our next step is to control the dynamics of the audio. Now first, I'm gonna set the volume level on the timeline to a reasonable level. Now when I play it, you can hear and see that there are a couple of spots where things get quite loud. Everybody turned, looked at me, and started going, speech, speech, and I was not prepared to give a speech. We're gonna compress the audio so the levels get more evened out. The most important settings on the compressor are the ratio, the threshold, and the makeup amount. We'll start by setting the ratio. The ratio tells us how much the volume of our audio gets lowered once the signal gets past a certain level, which we set using the threshold. So for example, if my ratio is four to one, that means for every four dB of volume over the threshold, the compressor will only let the volume increase by one dB. Higher ratios allow you to really clamp down and tame the louder moments, but if the ratio is too high, it can sound unnatural. Now for my voiceovers, I rarely go higher than a four to one ratio, but in this example, I've got a couple of words that are substantially louder than the rest, so the ratio is a bit higher. And of course, I can go back and fine tune the ratio after I've set the threshold and the makeup gain. Okay, so now that we've told the compressor how much to reduce the volume, we need to set the level at which that reduction kicks in. And as I said, that level is called the threshold. To set the threshold, I usually just look at the audio waveform and find a place where it's obviously fairly loud. Then I play this section and start lowering the threshold value until I see the meter on the compressor squashing the level. The idea is to set the threshold and the ratio so that only the louder stuff is being compressed while the softer passages aren't affected as much or at all. Use the meter on the compressor for this. It'll show you exactly when the compressor is working as well as how much compression is happening. Our final step is to increase the makeup gain. That increases the overall volume of all the audio. Now, since we're compressing the loud stuff, increasing the makeup gain effectively brings up the audio at lower amplitude, giving us more even levels overall. Everybody turned, looked at me, and started going, speech, speech, and I was not prepared to give a speech. So I said, let's go party, everybody cheered, and that's what we did. A Couple things to consider. First, while compression helps, you may still need to automate a few volume rides to smooth out amplitudes. In Premiere, the volume rides on the timeline happen before the compressor. So if you do a lot of volume changes, you may have to make some adjustments on the compressor as well. Now, if you want to do volume rides on a track after the compressor, you can set the output of the audio track to a submix and do the rides there. Also, because compression makes low amplitude sound more audible, it can sometimes have the unfortunate effect of raising the noise floor. We used a Zoom F8 for this video, and its mic preamps are very quiet, so it's not really an issue here. But if you're using a less pristine audio recorder or using audio recorded directly to the camera, you might be better off with less compression and doing more manual level rides. 
Also, keep in mind that if you have multiple audio sources, they may need different compressor settings, so you might do well to put them on different audio tracks so you can fine tune them individually. Finally, keep an eye on your audio master meters and make sure your levels aren't clipping. Sometimes if you're clipping, you won't hear it while you're editing, only when you export. Also, on some codecs, the audio will clip at zero dB, so leave yourself a little headroom to avoid that potential problem as well. Consider putting a hard limiter on the master track and set the threshold in the minus one to minus three dB range to tame any potential overloads that might try to peek through. So hopefully this gives you a few basic tips on normalizing and compressing your audio in post. I'm Rob from b &H, and thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, b &H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.